Sip channel. My name is Isabel and I am the Crafty C2 and it's my birthday. Woo! <laughs> that means for this weekend we are having a birthday thing. Let me show you what I made. Ah, ta -da! I made a birthday banner of cake topper and cupcake topper. And all out of one SVG file. That SVG file is available for purchase in my Etsy shop. The link is going to be down below. In this video series, I'm going to show you exactly how to use that SVG file and all the multiple uses that you can do with it. Today's video, we're in the birthday cake topper. Look how pretty. Let's get this video started. Alright, so let's go ahead and upload the file. Click upload. Upload image, browse, and mine just happens to be right here. You might have to look around for yours. Okay, it's gonna say this. The upload SV SVG contains the following items that are not supported. Text elements, import anyways. Just click continue. I've tested this out and cut everything out and it works fine. I just don't know why Cricut says that. So click save. And now we're gonna bring this in. It uploads small, so we're gonna just extend it out so we can see everything better. There you go. I'm not gonna go into full details about the file because I have created separate um, videos to show you the things that you can do. This file is so multi use that it's not. There's not just a one way of creating, for example, a banner with these or a, or a cake topper, cupcake topper with these. You can add on the numbers. You don't have to add on the numbers. You can actually use these files as a print and cut as well. I'm going to just break it down for you really quick. These two up here are what I'm calling the banners. This one on top already has, if you can see right here, the little holes, which is where you're going to string your string through. And then... You have the numbers down here that you can add on to. Everything that you need to add on these numbers and however you want to add it on is all, you could all do it really simple in the sign space and I'm going to show you everything. Even though I call these two the cake and the cupcake toppers, you can actually make a, a topper out of these, this, it's completely up to you. Again, this file is so multi-use, I keep saying this, but it's really multi-use. You just have to be creative with it. And I'm going to give you a few examples as in each video. I'm going to go ahead and ungroup this and delete the things I don't want. We're not doing banners today. We're just going to work on we're going to work on the toppers. I'm going to make this bigger. Now I'm going to ungroup them. The one that I'm actually going to use for my very own cake. I'm going to just keep this one so I can show you how to make another cake topper and you can see how you can play around all right so let's make this one six and press enter okay and for let's ungroup these and ungroup let's move these out of the way something that you do have to know is that these are not grouped so if you do that, you're gonna if you grab it, it's gonna move out of place. So command Z. You're gonna select all of it and you're gonna grab it and you're gonna group it. And I am doing 28 because that's the number that I am. Okay, let's do eight group. And let's put the two and the eight together and see how we how far apart you like it again this is all your creativity and what you like okay i like it like that so let's i'm gonna go ahead and select it all and align bottom there you go i think i like it like that i'm gonna group it for now and i made this six right so i'm gonna make this six as well okay mm, so Select everything and align center to make sure that it's the way that you like. And I actually, I'm happy with this. We're going to go with this. All right. So 
now we're gonna connect all the shadows to create one shadow so you're gonna basically tell your Cricut to instead of cutting out the shadow of the eight and the two on its own your and of course the happy birthday one and this one we're gonna tell it to we're gonna weld it all together so our Cricut cuts it all together okay so we're gonna we're gonna go on this side where we're gonna go to the layers we're gonna click on one of the shadows we're gonna hold down shift and we're gonna find the other shadows we have the eight and the two and then we're gonna go you can let go of the shift and you're gonna click weld perfect now I welded it all together as you see right here and your image the words are still there they just went to the back so we're gonna send this to the back and there it is I don't like these little empty spaces and I don't want my Cricut to cut that out so I'm gonna go ahead and go to contour I'm gonna zoom out and I'm gonna hide all contours exit and voila perfect that's exactly how i want my cake topper to look like you can change the color around you can make the happy go in the front but that's all up to you all right so let's move on to this one and let's make this one a happy first birthday topper all right so let's make it six again six enter all right remember these are not all this is grouped but once you ungroup them they separate okay I'm gonna go ahead and select one I'm gonna group it I'm gonna bring it over here and I'm gonna do the ST select it group it and bring it over here I'm gonna go ahead and hover over these and I'm just gonna make it bigger let's do four for right now just so we can see it better okay and I'm actually gonna turn this because I won't because I the one is already slanted and I like it slanted so I actually want to make this smaller so and I'm gonna use my grid this line right here above it as almost like a like a mark I don't want the T to be that much higher than the one so let's do one square up and I want to turn it just a little bit more okay I think that looks great actually we can make it just a little smaller and I like that so let's go ahead and do the exact same thing that we did and well that we did here welding it together so we're gonna so we're gonna go to layers select the, lay the shadow hold down shift and now we're going to click weld and we're going to arrange and send this to the back image and we're going to go to contour hide on contour and if you want to zoom out to see what you did exit and there you go and I'm actually going to group this so it makes it easier okay so now I'm going to find a place for it I want it right here I'm actually gonna go ahead and move this down I'm gonna use my grid as a mark so I want it here but I want the one to be bigger so I'm actually gonna move this over just a little bit because if you do leave it like this just be aware that there is since it's not touching here you can't weld it together and you will have that empty space and I know since this part these two parts are touching I can weld it and then contour it so then this part will hide. I like it like this. Alright, so we're going to do the exact same thing we have been doing. Going to the layers and selecting all the shadows. We're going to press down shift, find the shadows and then we're going to weld it. Perfect. Again, send it to the back so you can see your wording. Contour, hide our contour. And voila! You just made two cake toppers in less than five minutes. It'd be sooner if I wasn't sitting here explaining everything. And you have so much material that you can keep using and playing around with. 
you don't even have to keep it the same colors remember this is just an example but all right so i'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this because i really don't need it and let's go ahead and send this to make a big tip if you are using paper like I am always check the size of your papers my paper is only 8.5 by 11 to avoid a headache change your material size to 8.5 by 11 and let's send this to cut this is everything that we need to layer the cake topper for the cake topper I'm actually going to use this two-way glue squeeze and roll pen this is how it looks like and I'm gonna use this. I cannot pronounce this to save my life, so please don't make me. And I'll show you how to use this. This basically turns it into a sticker. And then for the 28, we're gonna use these white foam squares. Foams actually are pretty thick. I don't know if you can tell, but they give it like a 3D shape, like it's standing out. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start with the word birthday. You want to put it down and press it down for a couple seconds. What I did forget to mention is that this does dry clear. So if it does get on, don't worry, it'll dry clear. And you do, this also dries pretty fast. So that's why I'm sorry if I'm moving a little fast. This does dry fast, so you want it. And like you saw that I got some on here. I went ahead and with my hand and cleaned it off beforehand. And like I said, don't worry about those spots. This dries clear. But press it down. And voila, that's it. And I'm actually going to do the B before I do the I, just so I know where exactly to place it. Pick it up carefully. I really didn't pick that up carefully because I was just trying to make sure I got. Place it down. Press down for a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, the longer the word is like this one, the harder it is to maneuver it. But, yeah. but it's doable. Okay, we press that down. And now let's put the eye. Then using this and I'm actually now gonna go ahead and use this for the happy part because it's small letterings I can't use it for this because this part right here the TH won't fit in it and it has to fit in here but these will fit perfectly and this like I said basically just turns it into a sticker I'm gonna show you how to use this you're gonna go ahead and insert it make sure that what you don't want to be turned into the sticky part to be facing outwards pushing this in you're gonna be pulling this out so go ahead and do that once that's already in you can let go of push you can stop pushing it in and just pull this out and and make a tape and do exactly what it says rub and peel so I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way I'm gonna rub it good and peel this up do the same thing for the rest and now the H becomes Make sure there's nothing sticky. It was feeling a little sticky. 
now the H basically becomes a sticker. I don't know if you can see this, the glue that's on there already. Go ahead and put it down. All right, so now that that's all done, let's go ahead and move on to the 28, which we're gonna use, like I said, the, these little squares. And you don't really need a lot, to be honest. You wanna put it on the parts that are the thickest so you really don't. that are the thickest so you really don't see them. If you need to trim it down, go ahead and just trim it down. Make sure before you took off the backings that you had pressed down so it's nice and sturdy on there. Ooh. No, no, no. Okay. Hover over where you want it to go. And look at that. You could have even made the 28 in a different color to make it stand out a little bit more. Okay, now the oil that you're missing is putting it on the stick so it can stick in the cake. I'm actually just using a skewer and I just place it on the back. I don't actually trim these down. It's all in front of the cake and to see how big and how much you need. There's different ways of like gluing it down. I hope for you this, guys I'm just gonna use some regular video. tape. I hope you guys enjoyed this Since it's just for me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit mm -hmm. that notification bell so you're notified every time I post another video.